Welcome to Michelle's Making. Hope you're ready for coffee, crafts, cookies, and cocktails. Let's get going. Welcome. Welcome back to those of you who are returning. I really do appreciate that. Today is National Girl Scout Day, National Plant a Flower Day, and National Bake Scallops Day. So if you haven't already had an opportunity to get your Girl Scout cookies and support the Girl Scouts, make sure you do that. Everyone has their favorite. My favorite is Thin Mints. Plant a flower. Well, flowers add so much beauty in our life. And if you can't get outside to plant some live flowers, by all means, plant artificial ones in your decor. It adds a little beauty to our day. And baked scallops, those sound delicious. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight vanilla caramel creamer today. So it's yummy, delicious. We'll get that caffeine boost going. We'll make it a great day and get going on those crafts. The first item isn't a craft. It's just a quick and easy makeover of this cast iron cross I picked up at Goodwill. Using Waverly chalk paint and plaster, I gave it a good dry brushing uh, just to perk it up and give it some life. I think it looks great and I was really happy with that find. What do you all think of just giving something a coat of paint to give it new life? Today I'm working on a couple of tiered stand decor items. So I picked up the, at Dollar Tree this little plaque and decided to cut off the hanger, fill in the hole, and give it a couple of coats of the Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Patina. The color was a little bright and intense for what I was going for, so I mixed it half and half with the Waverly chalk paint in plaster and got a l much lighter, almost a robin's egg blue, a very Easter looking color. I used this color to paint the top and the sides and then I gave the back side a coating of the Waverly chalk paint in plaster and then covered it all with Mod Podge once it had dried. Of course, I used my heat gun to speed things up along the way. Next, I applied a decal that I made on my Cricut. It's just a simple decal that said Happy Easter. I was really surprised when it turned out a little bit large. It just barely fit on the plaque. I had measured, but you know the old adage, measure twice, cut once. I guess I um, should have measured it twice. But I was happy with how it turned out. I think this is gonna look great on a tear tray. What do you all think? Our next craft is a faux wood burning technique. And I used this round from Dollar Tree and these scorch markers. I had two different types of markers. Um, the first one I tried out on the front side of it and I used a stencil and just traced it. This, this scorch marker turns pink when you're using it. So you can see that you've filled in your stencil or that your design is there the way you'd like to see it. And after you fill in the stencil or your design, however you want to do, even if you want to freehand something with the marker, you get a, a good thick coating and it appears to be just a pink design on your wood. And then you apply the heat to it. Now I started out with my small portable heat gun, but it just wasn't hot enough. So I took out my industrial heat gun and applied that and it it's, really magical watching it appear and darken. And the longer you apply the heat, the darker it gets. What do you all think of this technique of faux wood burning? I really like it. I'm gonna think of a couple more crafts we can do. I love it when I try a new technique of something I've never done before. What about y'all? Are you that adventurous that you wanna try something new occasionally? That's it for the front side. 
for the back side, I'm going to use the other marker. I want to see if I have a preference for one over the other. The first marker I used was called Scorch Marker Pro. This one is Star Wood Burning Marker. And this one comes out a little a yellowish orange color rather than the pink. Again, using my industrial heat gun, I applied the heat and watched the magic appear. I purposely went for the darker look, so I held the heat on a little bit longer. And there you have it our wood-burning two-sided decor disc. Our next item is a spring wreath made in muted blue and silver tones. Another first for me were these flowers I made on the Cricut. I used a foam wreath I picked up at Dollar Tree and began by giving it a coat of clear enamel and then painted it with this chalk paint I had. Now this is old, old, old chalk paint and very thick as you can see. So I just added water and kept stirring till I got a good consistency. And once I was happy with that, I gave the wreath form a couple of good coats. The foam ring had a couple of dings in it. Uh, some holes I filled in with spackling and smoothed out and sanded down and touched up with the paint. I picked up this greenery at Dollar Tree and cut off some sprigs that I was going to use around the flowers. And I have to totally apologize. I completely lost the footage, or maybe I forgot to turn the camera on, of me filming the gluing of the flowers to the wreath. I do want to mention that I learned how to make these flowers on Cricut by watching another YouTuber, Jennifer Maker, and I've attached the link to her video on instructions to make these flowers because they're so easy. I was amazed at how easy they were to make. But I did glue the flowers all onto the wreath and attached a little of the greenery at each side of the flowers and then attach this ribbon at the top for a hanger, but I felt it looked a little bit plain. So I went ahead and made a bow. For the bow, I used the wired ribbon in the muted blue. You might remember this ribbon from the woven Easter egg we did, but I used that to make a bow this bow I made by flipping the loops back and forth till I had four loops on each side. And I took the starting piece and flipped it around to make a small loop in the center, added the tails and used a zip tie to hold it all together. Don't forget to cut a tail and add that in. Once you have all the pieces aligned and everything centered properly, you'll tighten the zip tie. And now don't forget the cardinal rule to bow making is every good bow needs a good fluffing. And don't forget to dovetail your ends to give it that polished finished look. Use the hot glue to attach the bow at the center top on the hanger. And there you have it, our beautiful spring wreath. I love the way this turned out. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Our next craft is made using another one of the circle rounds from Dollar Tree. And I filled in the hole on this one. And I'm going to attach these felt flowers, again made on the Cricut. To start with, I used the Waverly chalk paint and plaster and gave the disc a couple of coats. And of course, using my heat gun to speed up the drying process because I tend to be a little impatient sometimes when I'm working on my projects. Next, using the Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper, I gave it a little dry brushing along the edges and also on the sides. Next, using my hot glue gun, I applied it to the bottoms of the flowers and glued the flowers to the disc. This one, I didn't lose the footage, or I at least remembered to turn on the camera. This was a very simple, not complicated project, but I think it makes a great little item to use as a decoration on a tear tray. Now it's time for a refreshing cocktail. For this cocktail, we'll be using our Jose Cuervo ready to drink margarita mix, triple sec, and Stoli Crushed. We'll be building the drink over the crushed ice. Now this Stoli Crushed is a ruby red grapefruit infused vodka. Add the triple sec, and of course my favorite sour mix, and it'll all be shaken until well chilled and poured into that chilled martini glass. I've mentioned before about the miniature size bottles and I use them to try drinks that I may not have thought to try otherwise. All that's left now is to enjoy. Well folks, that's it for another week. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I appreciate that. We're not doing a big reveal this week either. We're still having plumbing issues and parts issues, but it's a work in progress. And I promise you when it's complete, I will do a big reveal and share it with you. In the meanwhile, let's make it a great week. Don't forget to take time to stop and smell the coffee. I'll see you next Friday.